my name is James Rojas, and I'm a city planner. Well, the whole idea is for the workshop, uh, well, the first part was, was a presentation on Latino urbanism, looking at the way Latinos use uh, the, the, the landscape to create, create their community, you know, and how they create a place of attachment by, the, by, by what, they, what they build for economic survival in the U.S. Now what we're doing, we're doing an activity called a call play set where people are going to build with objects their ideal city. But first, they're going to build their favorite child memory as a way to understand what they like in the city. Because your, your favorite memory of a chi as a child is really important to you because that's your ground zero for all your, all your actions in the city. You know, the entire village would converge, with all roads would lead to this plaza. So I was the kind of three-year-old that as soon as my caretaker spaced out, I bolt and I just take off. I'd go exploring. So I got lost a lot when I was little. Well, because people need to understand what do you want out of your city? You know, how do you want to make, make the city work for you? And, you need, and where do you start from? You know, how, do you, how do you understand that concept? So, but, but, but how do you understand what you really value in the city based on where you come from? Well, the point is that Latinos are really innovative and they're, and they're changing the American suburb to make, it, to, to make it work for themselves, you know, to survive and to create social spaces and, and create an economy that they, can, that they can prosper in, but also create an identity, a place. Well, well, the Latino community is different because a lot of Latinos are very poor, so they have to use their ma imagination, they have to use their creativity to, 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 create, to, to create their world, to create their uh, economic activity and their places. Well, I think we have to understand the kind of patterns Latinos want and how do we design housing and transportation for those patterns. Well, just that, you know, we just have to really take ownership of who we are and what we create and how we live to make it better. Because if we don't, we'll lose it. Yeah, the whole idea is to get people to understand, Latinos to understand what they produce. Because I think as a, as a culture, we produce a lifestyle, but many times we don't understand what we're producing. We don't talk about it. And if you can't talk about it, you, don't understand, you can't understand it, you can't put a value on it, you can't protect it, you can't make it better. But you have to recognize it as being your own. And, 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 and move forward from there. Um, and because it was so hard for us, um, we had a lot of faith. So that's my little childhood. Yeah, faith and love. Childhood is nice. <laughs> I just thought you were in place in memory.